welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about week 25. Um, and I started by trying to read something on this app, the same app that I said that I was using um, last time. Um, and I'm struggling to pronounce this. <laughs> so it says, your baby is about the size of a rutabaga? Um, I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna show you. It's supposed to be this thing. I mean, in all honesty, looks kind of like an apple, but I don't think it's an apple size. I don't even know. Anyway, let's get into the actual facts. Okay, so your baby now measures about 13 and a half inches. Her weight is one and a half pounds and isn't much more than an average rutabaga. No, look, there's another picture here. Maybe that would help. I still don't know what it is. Like that, I've never seen that. Um, <clears throat> she's beginning to exchange her long lean look for some baby fat. She's also growing some hair and if you could see it, you should be able to tell the color and the texture. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Um, now, it does say something about, <clears throat> right next to that, it says how my life is at 25 weeks. And it does say that your baby's not the only one with more hair. Your locks may look fuller and more lustrous. These words. Than ever. It's not that you grow more hair, but thanks to hormonal change, the hair that you normally shed is sticking around longer than usual. And I have gotten a lot of compliments on my hair lately. Um, so I truly believe that. Now, another thing that happened this week is that I had to take the glucose test. So we had to do the one hour glucose test and I took it recently, a couple days ago. Um, two days ago, I believe. Yeah, two days ago. And so it's basically, they give you a little drink and you drink it, you don't move, and after an hour, they take some blood and they send it for analysis to see if you pass the glucose test or not. Now, when they did mine, I actually got the results. My doctor called me the literally the next day. and But the reason why she called me was because my results came back very high, apparently. Now, I don't know exactly how high, I didn't really, for some reason I didn't ask that, I should've, but I didn't. So, um, so she did tell me that it came back pretty high. So now the next step is to take the three hour glucose test, which is basically that they sample your blood every one hour for, for the total of three hours. So you drink, um, you drink something they give you as well. You're not supposed to eat eight hours before um and now this is just a little bit stronger so the drink is a little stronger um in comparison to the one hour one and so it's very sweet and that's gonna be happening tomorrow actually so that'll be on next week so you guys can actually see what happened with those results um, I gotta be honest, I'm like panicking because I'm just like, oh my god, like that's so bad because I was reading about it and it did say that if you have results that come back high, like it means that you could have complications during birth. And to be honest, I think that's the part that scares me the most. Obviously, it also says that you can, um, that you are, you could potentially get diabetes in the future. But at the same time, like I feel like everyone could potentially get diabetes in the future. So that's not the part that scares me the most. The part that scares me the most is the fact that I could have complications during birth and that really, like, it, it freaks me out. Just giving birth is freaking me out in, to in general. So knowing that it could, it, I could have complications as well. It's like, oh, okay, yay. So I'm a little scared. So hopefully, hopefully I passed the three hour one, but I feel like, I feel like in my, it's like unlikely it's like this test is telling you hey it's high why would this other one tell you something else but maybe 
I mean, that happens to some women. I was reading about that too, and it said that some women get like a high result on the one hour, and then they pass the three hour. So I guess it's possible, but it doesn't make much sense to me. So I do have to ask the doctor more information about it. Um, but as of now, I don't know much about it. Um, since all the conversation happened over the phone and it was really fast because I was busy, so then I had to, I have to wait until next time when I see her, which will be happening tomorrow. Wait, no, today is, what's the day? No, not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. That's when this will be happening. But other than that, my mood has improved a lot more in comparison to what I used to be last week. So I do feel a lot better, a lot happier. Um, I have been trying to eat healthier and I have gone back to eating regularly, so I'm happy for that too. Um, my boyfriend has been so, well, I'm sorry, I keep calling him like that. He's my fiance now. Ah. Okay, so my fiance has actually um, been very supportive with that. So he really runs out to get me whatever I want whenever I need it. So it's been really, really helpful. And I've been getting everything that I need. So I've been getting everything I need, everything I want, um, even though sometimes obviously I don't want the healthiest things. Um, he, has, he has been helping me eat a little healthier as well. Um, I actually just finished eating a meal that he made me with broccoli, so that was cool. I'm happy that he did that. Um, and he brought me like a bunch of snacks to my job today, so that was nice. Um, but yeah, so mood has gotten a lot better. Now, I also was able to catch throughout this week, I was able to catch the baby kicking. Um, or maybe she was having hiccups. I don't, I don't, can't really distinguish what it was. But I do have a little clip of that, so I'm gonna put it after this. But I wanted to show you guys a belly shot before I put that. And then you can see the baby kicking, which is super awesome. I loved it. So, okay. All right, so that's my belly. For some reason, I feel like it looks smaller, but maybe not. So this is how I look. Boom, boom, boom. And that's it. Now I have noticed that, notice how my belly's not like really round. It's like a little bump, and then it goes like this. Now my, my little baby is like down here, really. Like this is really where she's located all the time. Not much up here. This is just, I guess, part of the expansion process, but she's really down here. So, yeah. So now, um, watch this clip. I hope you enjoy it. And that is all hopefully you liked it hopefully it was informational um, and thank you for joining me in this journey subscribe if you want to keep knowing how this process goes and hopefully everything goes well until birth and even after um, so thank you for watching and see you next time